change amazing I mean I'm gonna have a little baby sister or brother and some people might feel threatened by that but I'm fine with it I'm on my own again and some people might feel that they'll never get a boyfriend ever again but I'm totally fine with that totally fine The thing about change is to embrace it, accept and move on. Be positive, just like me. I'm going to get a new boyfriend very soon. Until then, I'm going to help Dad and Anna with baby stuff. There are three ways I can be useful. One, ensure this new baby gets a strong, healthy start. Things that go crunch in the night, nothing with a face, and lots of vitamin-packed goodies. Here, Anna, this is really, really good for you. Ensure that Anna gets rest and peace and quiet. No mess, uh, no stress. I really need to rest yet. <laughs> I say you do. show Dad and Anna I'm fine about this by offering support and interest. For example, I can think of names. Out of the kitchen, Dad, I'm making a meal. Organic steamed fish with crunchy vegetables. It's packed with vitamins. How about takeaway? Yeah. Broccoli's full of folic acid, you know. It's great for young babies. OK. It'll be so sweet. <laughs> I can teach her things. Thing? Be afraid, Elle. Be very afraid. Mm. Having a younger sibling stinks. I know. And bless we're one of our worst examples. True. <laughs> Pray for a brother, Elle. If you get a brother, boys come into your house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you like the younger man. <laughs> Sorry, liked. <laughs> Mag! The only boys that will be coming to my house will be wearing nappies and eating grass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Sweet. Hello. If you think a sicky, two-faced, stinky, manipulative little rat bag that's going to ruin your life and make your parents choose between you all the time is sweet, then all I can say is, wake up, Paul! You like having brothers and sisters, don't you, Max? Babes, never forget, it's free clothes, someone to beat up if you need to, and to blame for stuff you've done. <laughs> She's like a saint, isn't she? Anyway, you don't need to worry about something that's, like, loads of months away. And something I'm fine with. Exactly. What you need is something to keep you occupied. Say, like, a new boyfriend? <laughs> a proper one. I'll glimpse just the boy for you. Oh, he's just started in the pet shop. Let's just say I'd like to take him for a walk. <laughs> I was gonna have him myself, but hey. Mag, boys are not the answer to every single problem. <laughs> I feel a field trip coming up. Um, do you fancy some ice cream? Mm. It's lovely. Mm. Delish. Things okay? What things? World hunger? No, you nana. Things with you. Yeah. I'm fine. I'm in control and on top of things. 
I'm not that sure that you are, Elle. I am. Mm -mm. I am. I'm fine. Really? Look, I suppose I just want you to know that me having this baby doesn't change our friendship. And I want you and Dad to know that I'm not traumatised. I'm not jealous. I'm fine. Well, I'm glad someone's so okay about all this. Are you not? No, I'm not doing well here. There's a person in there. A person. I can't get my head round it. I don't think your dad can either. He's like a rabbit caught in headlights. <laughs> you know, Dad, emotionally stunted. My head's swimming now. What if I can't work after it's born? My work is really important to me. And what if I turn out to be a really useless, selfish artist, Mum? <laughs> you won't. You never know. Was, um, was your mum a good mum? Seems like she was a natural. Yeah, pretty much. I don't think I am. Look, here's what I'd do. Instead of worrying yourself about things you can't control, take some control. Borrow a baby and prove to yourself that things will be okay. Your sister's got one, hasn't she? Yeah. What, you mean, like, be a mum for a day? Yeah. And then you'll know that things really will be OK. Do you know what? Sometimes I think you're the most grown-up person in this family. <sighs> so do I. <laughs> <laughs> but not grown-up enough to say no to Magda's field trip. From here, he looks like Quasimodo. Trust me, he's good. He's perfect to revive Elle. Elle, are you really sure it's time to hook up with a new boy? Ever heard of Rebound? She needs to move on. <sighs> OK, I have a dog called Mishka and she's a collie. Um, she needs some biscuits and she's very shy. There it was. With one word, cutie boy stopped being a boy and became prey. Magda was suddenly regretting her donation to the What Early Needs as a Boyfriend charity. And Nat was suddenly emerging from her boy hibernation. And I was convinced that fate had brought me and cutie together again for a reason. And the reason involved kissing. What can I do for you? Dog. Mm, Biscuits. Very shy, very, very shy dog. Here's my candy. He said, sorry, Al, but there was a rash throwaway thing going on and I take it right back. Mad, she said so, didn't she? <sighs> Don't tell me you like him as well. He's OK. We're both pushed. No one's pushing. He's cutie. He's more than cutie. He's thick. Um, can I also point out that when I said he was Ellie's, I was lying. Magda, can I just point something out at this juncture? Greg. Greg is my BF. Pet Shop Boy is my hobby. I saw him first. I get first dibs. That's the law. But you said he's cutie boy. I saw him ages ago, remember? When I pretended he was Dan. It's true. Oh. OK, I'll help you both out here. I'm the one that's been suffering from a broken heart, so I think I'd better have him. <laughs> he's cutie. Um, sorry, girls, but we all know I'm the one he's going to go for. He's mine! <laughs> Bring her over tomorrow morning. No, just drop her off on the way. Yeah, a feed at 12 and sleep at 1. Yeah. No, that's fine, honestly. OK, bye. That's it settled. Great idea, Elle. I get to spend the whole day with Lily. That's great. Um, what are you doing tomorrow morning? Mm, I can make a window. Why? Good. 
You can spend the day with me and little Lily and practice being a dad. She's your sister's baby, Anna, not a dolly. Anyway, I've done it before, remember? I don't need the practice. Haven't I, Eddie Belly? Hmm? I was OK, wasn't I, Eddie Belly? Hmm? I was a good dad. I'm a good dad. <laughs> anyway, um, Friday's tutorial day, so now I can't be here, sorry. No need to be mean to Anna. Was I mean? I wasn't mean, was I? You're nervous about the baby. <laughs> no, I'm fine about the baby. <laughs> you so aren't. Say if I was. Then I'd say this baby is a good thing for all of us. But good things are sometimes scary. So being mean to Anna isn't the answer. Being nice to Anna is the answer. And being very nice to me in case I feel threatened. You don't feel threatened, do you? Well, I wouldn't if you went and got us some sweets. <laughs> I am getting so grown up. People tell me things and confide in me. Hey, I'm OK about grown up stuff. So watch out, cutie boy. I'm unstoppable. Right, Nad's going to scare him into loving her. And Magda will use any weapon necessary. So how do I compete? What's my unique pulling point? That's it, Ellie. You can draw him to you. Hi there. We'll meet again. Yeah, we do, don't we? I was hoping you'd come back in without your friends. I was hoping we could be alone. So what'll it be? <laughs> um, well, you're going to think this sounds really stupid, but I, I'm doing a school art project and I was wondering if maybe I could hang around and do some sketches of the animals, really. The fish. And perhaps one tiny one of you. Fine by me. Scribble away. Scribble away? That's practically a proposal. Let's have a look, then. <laughs> They're not very good, really. No. You're right. The rubbish. How'd you go in? No, these are really fab. Um, I mean, if you want, you can you can keep the one of you. Sign it then. With lots and lots of love. You. Hi. Trust Miss Schmooze Monster to muscle in. Shame it's my art he likes. Here, I've signed it for you. Quite good. So talented and dedicated. I mean, Elle hardly has time for anything else. I'm a go out, have fun sort of girl. But Ellie, painting is her only love. Is not. Now, are you going to help a poor girl find just the right biscuits for a cute little puppy? The only puppy she's got is Greg. Since when were you an animal lover, Dad? They're supposed to be my mates, not backstabbing, puppy inventing, tortoise kidnapping enemies. I've got no chance, and he's my cutie boy. Hold on, Ellie. Rewind. Pause. You can't give up. Let the witches win. Hey there, Ellie Belly. <laughs> I don't really like that name. Sorry, uh, your friend said you did. But 
hey, he knows my name. The wrong name, but of all the names in the world, he knows mine. Um, I was just passing, so I thought I'd drop you this. Oh, thanks. I really wanted it. <laughs> I love it. He loves it equals he loves me. Sorry, Nad, but my positive attitude has won through. Everything is going my way. Ellie, I think Lily's ill. Look at her, do you think she looks pale? I mean, she's been crying all day, and then about five minutes ago she coughed and then stopped crying. Is that right? Anna, she looks like a perfectly happy toddler to me. Anna, I've been out and guess what? Anna, I met this really nice boy. <laughs> See? I told you she was ill. <gasps> OK, so now I know I'm being mean, but I've got to tell someone about Cutie and the kiss. Well, that's the only possible option. I just know she's going to be a gracious loser. Don't be fooled. This is Natasha, and although she might look sweet, we have a history. I don't like Natasha. And the reason? <coughs> Natasha likes her own way. And she usually gets it. Is Madam? In a dungeon, I expect. I'm so glad he kissed you, though. But how can you be over him? I just am. Don't try and pin me down. Can you do this? Perfect. You just got me through to the first round of the Be In A Dark Towers video competition. So to get through, I need parental consent, hence this very convincing forgery. They are the most slamming band. Are you sure you're over him? It's just you and Max. Yeah, but she's playing dirty. <laughs> well, he's told you you're talented. Mag just got no chance. She's lost the war. And a friend. Elle, about this whole forgery thing, if, if Mum asks... Mm -hmm. Yeah. If Mum asks what? This is my future. I'm suddenly not fine with having a brother or a sister. Now do you believe me? All children are animals. Great bribe. Another one, please. Hey, Ellie, be bold. He likes you. He loves your art. He's kissed you a forehead, but it was a kiss. All you have to do is ask him out. It'll be fine. Life is looking good and fine. Oh, no. Reality check. Cutie boy has got a boyfriend. No, we've been burgled. This mess, didn't you? Uh, 
Anna. I feel weird. Am I doing the right thing? <laughs> Look, I'm already a bad mum. I can't even eat broccoli. Talk about Magda. Broccoli schmuckily. There are times when only chocolate will do. I'm worried about that thing in there. <laughs> Tell me about it. My life's going to be rubbish. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> it's the baby! Are you both a bit scared? And are you both a bit... a bit shocked? And are you both thinking that maybe we're not cut out for this? We must be. I mean, look at us. We get along really well, don't we? Well, yeah, and then this big ten-pound bowling ball's gonna go and change everything. Of course it will. But, Anna, you are gonna be a fab mum. And, Ellie, you're gonna be a great sister. I know it. Is this your way of getting free babysitting? Because the word no is followed by the word way. I suppose I'll get used to it. As long as it looks and smells like you and not Dad. It's all right, Elle. We've got it written into the marriage contract. Um, you are going in there. Okay, babes, here's the thing. Um, I think I might have upset you and been a bit mean about the whole QT thing. You and Vampire Features are my bestest friends. And I would never, ever do anything to hurt you. And I think I need to say something to you about it. And it begins with an S. She's trying to tell you she's sorry, Elle. You mean more to me than any boy. And, you know, the thing Nad said again. Everybody go.